This is Cuphead's hardest boss, Dr. Cal's robot, and today I'll be defeating him on expert difficulty without taking any damage. This is gonna be insanely difficult, but first I have to unlock expert difficulty. And to do that, I must complete an entire playthrough of the game. So I started my journey in Inkwell Isle 1, the first section of the game. And to be completely honest, this section really isn't that hard. At the time, there was just this one boss that gave me a rough run, and that was Kegney Carnation. Just take a look at this. That's so dumb, bro. How do I get rid of that flying thing, man? It was tough to go out like that, but just one run later, this happened. Let's go, Kegney Carnation down. <laughs> and now that he was out the way, I made my way to finish off Inkwell Isle 1 and walked over to Inkwell Isle 2. This was by far the hardest Inkwell section. There were bosses like Beppy the Clown, Rumor Honeybottoms, and the Jimmy the Great. But the boss that stuck out to me the most was Grim Matchstick. He had three phases and all of them were extremely difficult. Just take a look at how close I was to beating him here. Unfortunately, it didn't end the way I wanted it to, but it was still a good run. I practiced a bit more, took a few deaths, and came back with this. Yup, there was still no luck. So I continued with the formula and my next run, this happened. Finally! Oh my gosh! And after that, we were on our way to Inkwell Isle 3, the final aisle before moving on to Inkwell Hell. And the hardest boss here was none other than Dr. Cal's robot, but this one would be on regular difficulty. To be honest, phase 3 here wasn't that hard because I could take as many hits as I needed to. And it ended up not taking that long, just look at my second run in phase 3. Let's go, he's done! Bro, that's literally the hardest boss in the entire game, and he's done, bro. Let's go. The rest of Inkwell Isle 3 was pretty light, so I was on my way to Inkwell Hell. Now, the final boss we had to defeat before moving on to the devil was King Dice. King Dice is extremely difficult because there's a bunch of mini bosses you have to be before moving on to him. And let's just say my first few attempts weren't so great. so done with this bro i've been doing it for so long man king dice was taking an extremely long time because of how many individual boss fights there were before reaching the final phase but after fail and fail i finally had this moment Let's go, bro! Finally! That took so long! Oh my gosh. Now with King Dice out my way, the only obstacle between me and expert difficulty was the devil. And this boss fight was the reason that I contemplated if this challenge was even possible. This was due to a few reasons. Firstly, the devil was taking a super long time to beat and he was extremely difficult. And secondly, it was super demotivating to know that I'd have to beat Dr. Cal's robot on expert difficulty while taking zero damage, and I can even beat the devil on regular difficulty while taking any amount of damage. But I accepted the fact that I had to beat this guy to make a video. And I proceeded to master all of his phases, which took a long time. I'm talking maybe about 10 hours of work. And just a heads up, if you think that's crazy, just wait for the final challenge. But for now, my main goal was to just beat the devil. This was one of the first times I actually got near the end of this level. You know what? I'm happy with that. I, Bro, we're, we're almost there, man. We're almost there, bro. I was finally making some good progress, and now was my turn to perfect my act. I had to make sure I had all of this stuff locked down so that I'd have good HP on the last phase. Just look how close I was to beating him on this attempt. Unfortunately, I died there, but look what happened the next time I got to the same spot. Finally! Thank God! Finally! Swing, you sinner, bro! <laughs> Bro, finally, oh my gosh.
That took so long. Now that I have officially completed an entire playthrough of the game, it was time to go to the big challenge. Dr. Cal's robot on expert difficulty without taking any damage. This was honestly extremely terrifying as I had no idea what I was going to go up against. I'd only seen a few clips on YouTube and they did not look so bright. But without a second thought, I went on to the challenge. What you're seeing right now is my first time actually attempting this challenge. I had some previous experience with Dr. Cal's robot with the first time I beat him, though that was on regular difficulty. And remember, if I was to take a hit, I'd have to restart. It's safe to say that this run was short-lived, but there were hundreds to come. This was genuinely going to be the most difficult thing I ever attempted in my life up to date. And it sounds crazy, especially because this was a video game, but trust me, this was insane. It felt like no matter where I went, no matter what I did, and no matter what new strategies I tried, I kept taking a hit. It genuinely felt impossible. And there was no way I was giving up. I just couldn't bring myself to that, especially this early. I was still in phase one out of three. And after all of the short-lived phase one runs, this happened. Second phase. Let's go. No! Oh my gosh, bro. You know what? I don't even know what I took damage to, bruh. So finally, with some improvement, I knew that I could get to phase two. And now my main goal is to get past that and finally get to the last phase, phase three. Phase two is the simplest and easiest out of all three, so it wouldn't take a long time to get past. But I still needed to perfect it so I didn't make any dumb mistakes while going on my final runs. But finally, after many attempts, this happened. Finally, phase three. Okay. Ah, yikes. Bro, making it to phase three this early gives me so much hope. I've only been at this for like an hour or so, and this makes me so happy. But little did I know what was coming ahead of me. I was completely wrong. Phase three was extremely difficult. This was no joke. Firstly, Dr. Cal's robot had so much HP during this phase. And secondly, there was attacks coming at you from every single angle. You had no time to pause. But there was no other option. I just had to push through and complete it. But after death and death, and death, and death, and another death, this happened. It was by far the furthest I've ever made it, but it wasn't far enough. There was still a lot of work that had to be done. So I continued to practice until I had this solidified. Solidified meaning that I'd always get to phase 3 no matter what. Because at this stage, I would still die at phase 1 or phase 2 sometimes. And that meant when I got to phase 3, I was extremely nervous because I knew that sometimes the next round I wouldn't even get here. And when you get nervous, things like this happen. No way! I was so salty about this that after I just let the game play out to see how far I made it. And just look how close I was, man. But just like I've been doing for the entire video, I had to continue to push through. And that meant more practice. Yay! At this time, I was probably a good 15 to 20 hours into this boss fight. I was completely drained, but I knew I had to finish. No way! I'm gonna cry gonna cry i'm gonna cry and just like that i was back on to another round but this time i finally figured out something that i hadn't been doing before you see every once in a while dr cow shoots out these pink orbs these orbs can be used to parry and eventually boost your meter and once your meter is full you can perform a special attack so my goal was simple weave through the orbs get the parries and attack Unfortunately, I did still make dumb mistakes like that, but I learned from it. At least it wasn't any mistakes related to the new parry method I was trying. But there were still some instances where I did run into that trouble. Without all these stupid mistakes, I'd probably have this done in half the amount of time it took me. But I guess it was a part of the process. I'm pretty sure you can imagine how annoying and stressful all these boss fights would have been. Tons of emotion and tens of hours poured out into this one boss fight. It was ridiculous. I was basically putting everything in my life on halt just to beat this one boss. But finally, after all the hours and all the pain this put me through, I finally had this one run. This has to be it, bro. This has to be it. This has to be it. This has to be it. Come on, come on, come on. 
Bro, let's go. I'm so scared to shrink down. I'm gonna get my parries. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Bro, I'm right here. I'm right here. I don't think I've ever been this far. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. And after all the pain and suffering, I finally beat Dr. Cal's robot on expert difficulty with taking no damage. This was easily 10 out of 10 difficulty. I'd give it more if I could. In the end, this took me about 57 hours of work. I wouldn't even dare anyone to do this. That's how hard it was. But the challenge is now officially over. And if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for more boss challenge content.